Hi there, I'm back. I'm being normal today uh, for this lesson, I think. As normal as I could possibly be. be. Yeah. We're doing addition and subtraction of decimals. And that's very easy. What's the rule? Well, I think most of you know. You have to keep the decimal points underneath each other when you set that out. So you've got numbers, three numbers here to add together. So you have to have three decimal points underneath each other. And of course, for your answer, the decimal point goes there as well. So let's put in the numbers. We've got 3.6, 20.05, keep them in their col columns. Right. Ones under the ones, tens under the tens, tenths under the tenths, hundredths under the hundredths. And then we have 4.38. We have to add these numbers together. And of course the decimal point goes there, directly underneath. So let's add them up. You start on the left hand, or sorry, the right hand side again, over here. It's not the ones column, but it's the, the furthest on the right hand. That's where you should always start. Five and three, five and eight, right, is 13. Put down three, carry the one, just like you would normally do with that normal addition. Forget about the decimal point. We've already worked out where that's going to go, so we just add the numbers. Seven and three is 10. So you put down the zero, carry the one. <clears throat> just forget the decimal points there now. 4 and 4 is 8. Nothing to carry, so 2 goes there. So the answer to this is 28.03. It's very easy. All right, let's do another one. Alright, throw in a whole number here. Let's have a look what happens. We have 4.06. The next number we have to put down is 32. Now 32 is three tens and two ones. The decimal point would be there. So we have to put the decimal point in. That helps. And we put 32, three tens and two ones over there. And if you like, you can put a zero. All right, now we have to do 0 0.7. So that's 0 0.7. We're adding these. So the decimal point will go underneath there. There's nothing in the hundredths except the six. They're all zeros in the tenths. So we just put down the seven. Four and two is six. And the 3 is on its own, so the 3 goes there. How easy is that? Alright, so subtraction's the same. Subtraction, you keep the decimal points underneath each other exactly the same. What am I doing? Let's start again. That was spread out. I was going to put them underneath each other, but no, we'll put them horizontally, as you might see in a book or on the teacher's whiteboard. All right, there we are. 38.6 minus 2.4. So we set it out. 38.6. Decimal points go underneath each other. And the two ones and the four tenths there. And let's take away. The decimal point always go underneath each other in addition and subtraction. Different for multiplication. Okay, 6 take away 4 is 2. 8 take away 2 is 6. 3 take away nothing is 3. Now, that's it. How easy. Uh, I think I'll leave it there. If you want to know a little bit more, go into grade 6, because we'll do a bit more advanced. But that's the beginning and the basic basics of it all. So, enjoy it. Understand it. See you again soon.